Hey, what's going on everyone? Joel here and I am vlogging for you today, so I hope you like that. I have a lot of stuff to talk about, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail that I'm going to put on this video. I do want to start off by saying that no one was hurt in this accident that I'm about to talk about, and it wasn't my fault. Because I don't want those comments being like, you was a bad driver, because that would make me feel bad, because I'm not a bad driver, I'm an average driver, maybe slightly below average, but... Yeah, I just want to get that out of the way, so if you gotta leave now because I spoiled the ending, then so be it. But there's also a lot of stuff happening in my future, my immediate future, in the next couple of weeks, couple of days even. So I wanted to get that out there for you guys. This feels like kind of an in-between point in my life where a lot of stuff's been happening over the last couple of weeks and a lot of stuff's gonna happen over the next couple of weeks. And it's gonna be one of the busiest months of my life, so... Definitely want to vlog for you guys and tell you guys what has happened and what is going to happen. And I'm sorry for being a little inactive on my channel, uh, except for I've been uploading shit from last weeks, but I just really haven't uploaded much else because I've kind of put YouTube on the back burner, which I do frequently, but I do have videos coming up for you in the next couple of days and couple of weeks, so that should be good. Sorry for the long-winded intro. Let's get into what happened with my car accident right now. So about a week and a half ago, I was driving with Megan in the new 2013 red GMC Terrain that we bought. Very nice vehicle. We bought it in January, actually. Uh, there's a hair in my eye, so that's not great. As some of you know, I drive a 2013 black Chevy Malibu. Nothing too flashy. It's a very nice car. First nice car I've ever had in my life, but that's my car, and the Terrain was kind of like Megan's car. So we bought that in January, and we were driving to go do something in town it was raining, we were on the highway, and this particular stretch of highway is kind of dangerous because it was rush hour on a Friday, and there's a lot of, it, I guess it's what you would call a traffic, like a junction on the highway, I'm not sure what the technical term is, but um, there's an on-ramp, and then an off-ramp, and then there's a ramp that leads down to like downtown Lansing, and then one that goes up to like East Lansing and other stuff. Um, I live in Michigan, for anyone who's confused by these foreign words that I'm saying. It's just a clusterfuck, basically. Right where our accident happened, there's these caution barrels, which are just barrels filled with water that people are supposed to drive into in case of an accident. And I see at least two to three cars ending up in them every year. So, a lot of accidents happen in this area is what I'm trying to say, but... Basically, um, it was, like I said, it was raining and it was kind of dark. Uh, because it was there's so much rain and there was a car a good distance in front of me I don't I don't measure distances by eyes very well and it, it all happened so fast but I'd say maybe like 50 yards 30 yards 40 yards could have been anything but I wasn't right behind them and I see from my eye I'm in the right lane by the way there's the left lane in the path is the passing lane in America and I was driving in the right lane and I see this person ahead of me break right so they're always wait for me. I have plenty of time to brake. And as I start to brake, depth perception comes into play when you're driving. And I see that they are at an almost complete stop. So they broke very hard. So in turn, I have to start braking very hard. And I come to an almost complete stop. And that's very dangerous when it's raining super hard and there's a lot of cars behind you. Uh, people were tailgating me because, you know, it's rush hour. I don't like to do that. But uh, there were people very close to me. So I had to brake very hard and the two cars that were immediately behind me made a very stupid decision and they swerved into the passing lane, which is the left lane, which is super dangerous by the way. I'm not trying to teach anyone how to drive because I don't think I'd be very good at that, but <laughs> just think about that logically. Let's, if you're in the right lane, you aren't, and you're gonna make a split second decision to swerve into the left lane when you don't see what's happening over there, you could get T-boned by a car right on your driver's side door and get killed, so. Those people were lucky they didn't get into an accident. I got into the accident for being the smart one. I got really close to the car that broke in front of me, but I didn't actually hit them. I just kind of got off to the side next to the guardrail because I knew it was going to be a chain reaction type thing. I think somebody in front of them broke, but I'm not sure because they drove away from the scene of the accident. Lol. <laughs> Good people. Uh, but after those two cars behind me swerved, there was a third car, which was a white GMC Sierra truck. I don't know, I think it was a GMC Sierra. I just made that name up. I know it's a truck name, so I said it, but it was just a big white pickup truck. And there was a, uh, a young girl driving, uh, and I guess she, she said she lost control of the vehicle. She either didn't stop fast enough, 
or legitimately lost control, which I could understand because it was hard to even control my vehicle and stop, or she wasn't paying attention, which it doesn't matter because uh, it's no fault in Michigan, so I, it doesn't affect me either way in terms of my insurance or her insurance. But regardless, she hit my the back of the terrain on the passenger side, so I'm kind of trying to like talk and help you visualize this, but um, her vehicle like, like came and she was clearly trying to swerve into the caution barrels which were on the right side of us. So it, it was like it came and she probably was turning her wheel at this point, hit our vehicle, her truck flips and spins around this way. So it flipped onto the driver's side and was completely, it like got shot back. So, and our terrain actually was, it was total, it was completely damaged to be on the point of repair, but the back seat was not damaged. Uh, Megan and I did not feel any repercussions. We were not hurt in the slightest. And besides the entire back passenger side getting damaged, if someone was in the, like, if someone was in the back seat, they would not have been injured. Maybe got, they would have gotten glass on them, but um, they would not have been severely injured besides some whiplash maybe and some uh, glass on them. So I felt very happy in my vehicle purchase. <laughs> I'm just kind of jumping around here, but that vehicle is very safe. We could have been killed if I was in my Malibu, uh, which I drive. That would have been a very serious car accident because she was going at least 40 to 50 miles an hour. I'm sure she was braking, but I mean, she hit us head on, or not head on, uh, that's not the term, but she hit us going really fast. So uh, that happened, there was a chain reaction of a few cars almost hit her, but it, it ended up, I thought, I called it in to 911 as a multiple car car accident because I thought there were more than one car, but it turned out that we were the only two cars involved and then a lot of cars around us stopped to help us, which was cool because like the person in front of me drove off, which was a dick move, but there were a lot of good Samaritans around us that uh, stopped and made sure they pulled her out of the vehicle immediately there was fluids leaking out of her car oil gasoline whatever and uh, so she got pulled out immediately which was nice and Megan couldn't open her door but uh, because it was locked due to the accident but mine was able to be open so we got out and we made sure we were okay and the police came and we got our car pulled away and that was that I mean she the, per, the woman did not want to talk to us really who hit us which is understandable because she probably thinks we're the assholes because we had to brake super hard um, but the person in front of us had a break too, so I don't know. It was a weird, it was a weird, awkward situation, but awkward situations. <laughs> but she, uh, she appeared to be okay for flipping her truck, and it all turned out to be okay. So that's what happened with the car accident. My car ended up being totaled, fifteen thousand five hundred dollars worth of damage. I bought it for like twenty one thousand. Actually, no, I talked him down to twenty thousand. So. Uh, ended up being totaled and they are going to essentially just give me back the money I paid for and I'm gonna buy another terrain probably because I really like the car and now I know that if it gets into a car accident it's pretty safe so that is good knowledge to have and looking forward now we will go to the looking into the future part of the vlog I am getting married about a week from now so that is a big life event that's going to be happening. I told a lot of people on my channel and on my Twitter, if you follow me, that I'm getting married. Most of you should know that, but I haven't really been forthcoming with the date because I just didn't want to talk about it up until right before it was going to happen. I don't know, just for privacy reasons or just because I didn't feel like it, but yeah, it's going to be happening next week, so I'm excited. I'm going to see my friends. I'm going to be doing something pretty fun right before the wedding, actually, that I'm going to be vlogging and putting on my Twitter and Instagram, so hopefully you guys follow me there. The links are in the description if you want to, so you can see that, or I'll just put it on my channel after the fact. But it's going to be a fun weekend. I have videos planned. I have a little notepad right here where I write out all of my ideas, and I have some pretty good video ideas right there for things that I can put on this channel. And I have a lot of footage to edit, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day, just editing, and I haven't been streaming as much, I was trying to stream in the afternoons, but just with all the stuff that's been going on, I've been going to car rental place to get the car, and it seems like every afternoon I have something to do in the last couple of weeks, and I've been slacking on YouTube, partly due to that, and partly because I haven't made as much effort. You know, I, you could, I could make more of an effort to adjust for the other things I have to do, but I just don't do that because I'm a terrible person. No, I don't know, but I'm excited for the stuff that I have planned, and the YouTube videos coming up, so, the timeline is I'm getting married next weekend, 
and we were going to go to E3, but it's immediately afterwards and it just felt very stressful. So essentially gonna take that week off. And then June 22nd, I am going to Hawaii with Megan for our honeymoon, Maui specifically. We're not gonna hop around the islands because I think that's weird. I don't wanna, I'm, I'm just gonna go to an island and stay there. People are like, you should island hop, you should go to Kauai, you should go to Oahu. And I'm like, shit, I'm going to Maui and I'm sitting there for a week. So I will be down there and I am going to make an effort to make at least a couple of vlogs while I'm there because I can't get enough content around to make a week's worth of videos if I'm not gonna be here for a week and then have enough for afterwards too. So uh, basically there is going to be a lot of vlog footage on my channel this month more than ever. And if I'm a good YouTuber like I should be. And there's going to be a lot of video game videos still. I have to make them and record some of them, but I have a lot of stuff planned. And what else was it? Oh, um, I will probably get a shift from last week up this Sunday, but not for, <laughs> I might not get another one up this month, if I'm honest, because, well, I could see myself playing video games the week after my wedding, but I'm also gonna be preparing videos for when I'm gonna be going on my honeymoon, so I don't know. Just stay updated with me on Twitter, and I hope you guys appreciated this vlog, let you guys know what happened, and what's gonna happen, and I know there's still gonna be a ton of people who are like, where's Joel, what's he doing, why is there all these vlog videos, this and that and the other thing, so, if any of you watch this video and you see someone in the comments confused, just kindly reply to them if you know the truthful answer to their question. So, thank you guys for watching, I love you all, and have a great rest of your Friday, or whatever day you're watching this on. Peace!